G'day. In modifying the undersized handles on my chuck keys for a bit more comfort, I created a very handy soft hammer for the lathe. Take a look. At just 6mm diameter, these handles are so very hard on your hands. If you make 200 parts, if you get that far, you certainly won't make 200 tomorrow. So I added some larger Delrin handles that were just so much easier on our hands. Unfortunately, the key square on the end of the chuck key is also six millimeters and it breaks off and breaks off and breaks off. And it did that six times. The other three have all been fitted with the larger handles. I really like my toss chucks lots of accessories available and of course spare chuck keys but Pratt Bernard use a 8mm square and I believe Bison brand use a 9mm square thanks to Martin of the old Foundryman channel this is part of the repair it's just an M8 cap screw with the head removed and a square milled on the end then jammed into a threaded hole until it will go no further here's a comparison I've got no doubt the extra torque is what's shearing off the end of the square. This modification allowed my wife to make thousands of parts with me and it just let her feel comfortable that the part wasn't going to come flying out because she couldn't do the chuck up tight enough without breaking her hands. I don't normally uh, like things to drop off when I part them off. I like to give them a tap. Uh, that way they don't drop into the chuck jaws and get damaged. I mean you've just finished the darn thing. The last thing you want is to get them damaged at that point. You've just spent two minutes making it and a dollar on the material. It's a bit silly. Um, so I find this uh, new chuck hammer really handy. Yeah, just knocking the chuck off the spindle. That gets fairly jammed onto that taper. The beauty of this uh, soft hammer is it's always sitting on the headstock right where you need it. It's great. This was done by a friend of mine. Uh, this is a bison chuck key uh, so handles are much larger but still when contemplating a couple of hundred parts to make this friend thought it was well worthwhile chopping up a bit of broom handle and making some decent handles for his chuck key. Okay if you've got this far thank you for watching.